Hey everybody, it's Dave Juno, the Meniere's Disease Warrior. How y'all doing? I, I'm, I'm doing really good today. I've had a really great day um, after pretty much a crappy week last week. I'm doing pretty good. Um, you know, I had my an appointment with my primary care doctor who deals with my uh, diabetes type 2, which everything's going great. <coughs> Excuse me, the Zempic's working good. Everything's going good. I'm dropping weight. Um... So that part of my life is great, <laughs> okay. Um, Meniere's, I should say part of my medical life is great, but the uh, Meniere's is always Meniere's, right? So what I really want to talk about was my experience, not with the doctor. The doctor's awesome. I've been seeing him for like 16 years. Great guy, trust him with anything. Um, he's treated me for everything with, you know, arthritis to sprains and broken ribs and whatever bruised ribs um great great guy he's also a sports medicine guy primary care doctor and a, um a family doctor and sports medicine doctor so he can handle breaks and stuff like that so i went to him and what happens is, is when you know you go to the doctor you you go and check in right you know and then where i go it's one check-in and then you go to your doctor okay there's not separate check-ins for each thing for each place you go in, like, you know, pediatrics, orth orthopedic, whatever. So I go check in, and then I get on the elevator to go upstairs, okay? Which is, you know, fine. You know, I, I had a, an, old, an older woman who thought, was like, what are you getting on the elevator with before? I just think she got a little nervous, and because you probably saw the way I was walking. And um, I'm like, no, oh, I have Meniere's disease. I have balance problems. It's, I'm supposed to, I really should take an elevator to be safe. And she was like, oh, okay. And she was very understanding. So I'm in the waiting area, and I'm sitting there waiting, and I normally set myself up so I could hear when they call my name. Even though this girl that usually sees me, Michelle, is the, the nurse, um, usually pretty good about it because she does know I'm deaf. And it's written in my chart. And it's written on the computer when they bring up my name. But Michelle's out. <laughs> so another woman came. And another nurse came, and she actually came in my left ear. And I guess what she told me was she was calling me for four times, and I didn't say anything. So then she got in my face, and she talked so softly. And I said, I'm deaf. I'm deaf on this side. I'm partial on this side. You please need to please speak up. And she's like, oh, I'm sorry. But then we get into the office, and she's doing it again. And I'm like, I can't hear you. And, and she's speaks up for a little bit and it goes right back down to it and you know what i wanted to say was what is wrong with you i'm deaf but i didn't and so i'm like okay she doesn't get it she doesn't understand so she does my blood pressure which surprisingly <laughs> was normal <laughs> i thought it was going to be high but it was normal you know the temperature heartbeat whatever everything was normal which is great great so now she's trying to go with medications with me i can't make out what she's saying she's talking so softly and i think she was now now herself was speaking a, a different language she had to been i i know my word comprehension isn't great but some of these words i was hearing were like spanish so i ended up having to after five minutes of this going back and forth i got up and went to the computer where she was sitting and did my own thing because i'm like i don't know what you're trying to do i think you're trying to figure out what i'm taking and she's like yeah i'm like okay so we went down the list and i was you know clicking 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 i still couldn't barely hear her. i was right next to her she talks so softly I'm like, what the hell and then on the screen this is a good thing about where i go it says david is hard of hearing you need to speak loudly or look at him Please take mask down when talking to him. Okay. Um, I know I'm not too keen on that because they see a lot of sick people, but that's okay. If it means I'm going to be able to figure, understand what they're saying, then it's, it's okay. Um, and she wouldn't do anything. I said, did you read this? And she goes, oh yeah. And then went right back to talking softly. I'm like, I, okay, whatever. This is a temporary thing. She's covering for Michelle. I'm not going to get, I wanted to freak out. I wanted to start yelling. I just, no, just stay calm. 
your doctor's cool. He's a good guy. You have also have a meeting with um, um, a medical assistant for your diabetes, too. So just calm down. Everything's fine. Okay? You're going to meet with two good people. Don't let this one person piss you off. So she leaves, and my doctor comes in. And as soon as my doctor came in, he goes, how's it going? I said, man, I don't know who that woman is. But I am so aggravated right now. He goes, you are mad at her or aggravated? I'm aggravated. I said, you know I'm deaf. And he's speaking so I can hear him. And he goes, yeah, why? I said, she wouldn't speak up. She wouldn't look at me. I had to come over and do my own chart. I said, I can't have that when I come here. I said, I'm not mad because I know she's probably just covered for Michelle. But I pointed to her and told her I was deaf. It says it right there, right? And he goes, yeah. I said, she just didn't care. Had no compassion. I said, please, you know, I know it's just today, fine. But if I come in and she's here again, I'm leaving. I'll, I'll, I'll schedule an appointment when she's not here. I'll find out her schedule. And he goes, no, don't worry about it. I'll take care of it. Let's go on. I'm like, okay, fine. So we did. We went on, talked about, you know, he wanted to bump up my Ozempic. Took me off of uh, Glipizide. Bumped up my Ozempic. Because what he told me with Ozempic is, when you're doing it for anybody, you start off slow and you build yourself up. So my numbers looked okay, but not the targets I wanted. So he bumped them up, which is fine. Okay, I don't problem. Now it's one milligram a week instead of half a mil. I started with 25, now then 50. Now it's going to be one. So that's fine. So we had a good conversation, checked my breathing. goes, yeah, you, you, you cough and still, but... He goes, that's the sinuses, and I said, yeah, it's the doctor thing, you know, the ENT just thinks it's, you know, allergies, and I've been using saline, it seems to help a lot more, and I've been taking the coracetin again, he goes, yeah, that should help you, and if you notice, I'm not coughing as much, um, so, yeah, that, that went on, and I had been meeting with the, um, the other woman, which is great, she knows I'm deaf, because we talk every two weeks, um, and she spoke loud, she looked at me, made sure I was looking at her, awesome, and then when we get to check out, the nurse has to come back in, check you out, different nurse came in, this is what I love about my doctor, knew I was having a hard time, knew if I got really aggravated, my was going to act up, and got someone else to do it, and she came in, she checked me out, going to go back in three months, you know, for more, tap, for, you know, another follow-up but the thing is is that the doctor knew not to send that woman back in because i was going to get pissed off and i did ask the woman does that woman normally speak softly and she's like no i don't know why she was doing it to you i said yeah please i don't want to ever see her again in here and she was like don't worry about it if michelle's not here i'm going to take care of you getting she wrote it on the note um blah 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 blah, blah. so it, there's all these things that they have and the woman, the nurse who was originally seeing me, knew. Decided to be ignorant. Now see, the thing, the reason why I'm making this video is, you are going to run into people like this, that are ignorant. Okay? And in, in the medical field, too. It's, they're going to be ignorant. They're going to be uncompassionate. A nurse doing it is one thing. Okay, nurse, a doctor doing it, yeah, find another doctor. A nurse doing it, yeah, you got to say something to the doctor. And... Sometimes these nurses are worse than anybody because they just, they deal with 100 people and all that stuff. And I understand, but the thing is, is that you're going to deal with these people that are, like I said, ignorant. Just don't get upset at them. It's a temporary thing. It's not going to happen. But if it does, the first time, like I did, say something. Don't not say anything because you're afraid the person might lose their job, the person might do this, something might happen. No. Say something. It is not... It is not right for anybody to fool around with your disabilities. Deafness is a disability. And if somebody isn't going to take you serious enough, then you need to make it known to the person in charge. Okay. Now, in real life, I, and this has happened to me, I had a friend who I was very close with who decided that it was funny to make fun of me deaf. I, I, 
always made fun of me in front of groups of people and and people would tell her to stop and oh, he knows I'm joking and I, and I went I don't care if you're joking I don't like it wouldn't stop and then now I barely talk to the person I I won't even talk to them I'll talk to them on the phone but I don't hang out with them I don't want anything to do with them because to me if you think this is funny you're 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 not the person I want to be around and you're just not it's not funny um, and it's, and it's rude and it, it could torment us, you know, and that's another thing that brings on stress. Now, luckily for me, I was feeling pretty, pretty good today. So I did go fishing after my doctor's appointment, not long because of the weekend night week I had weekend week I had, um, but I, I caught a few fish and it was relaxing, but it's so hot and humid in Massachusetts and probably a lot of places in the United States. I didn't spend that much time because... The heat and humidity can trigger me. So I spent just enough time, and my appointment was early enough where it was still kind of cool, and um, I spent just enough time to relax, make myself happy. So on that note, um, you know, it, it's, it's okay to get upset, and it's okay to say something. Don't let your disability stop you from saying something. Stand up, speak up. And say something. If you feel you've been wronged, like I was today by that nurse, say something. I mean, literally, I had all the right in the world to tell some to tell them to go, you know, go to uh, say phenomenal, which means go to hell. Um, but I didn't. I kept my cool. Now, six years ago, seven years ago, all oh, would have been, you know, f you, f this, get the f out of here. Um, but I've learned to calm down, to stay calm, and not do that. Tell the appropriate people, and that's it. Now, in public, it, it, it even in, today now, I literally, somebody does that um, that I don't know, I, I literally just walk away. I don't get in a confrontation. I don't yell. I don't scream. Um, I just walk away. It's not worth it, okay? And that's the thing. If, if I got so super upset, my blood pressure would have been through the roof, I probably would have had uh, vertigo by the time I got home, um, and I'd be a mess. Instead, I had a good day. I did do some, do some fishing, but then again, I putted around the house, did stuff on the computer, played with my grandkids, and had a great day. So, and spent a you know, good time with my wife as well. So on that note, guys, hey, have a great day. Have a great weekend. Have a good night. I'll talk to you all soon. Take care.